Oops. But it's so hidden, they can't find it. And they gotta go through, oh, there goes the plan. We're continuing the forest adventure theme from Ding Bao. Sets are getting bigger now. Right, dear? I sure hope so. They better be getting bigger. Yeah. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, and let's just jump right into it. If you haven't seen the other video, watch Forest Adventure up here, part one. This is part two, and there will be a part three after this video at some point, I hope. Anyway, check it out. So this is Sing Bao's Forest Adventure. Fall into the jungle. XB 15003. 622 pieces. All right, so fall into the jungle starts with this thing right here. Look at this jet. It's all about the jet, about the jet. The shape of this thing is so weird. I keep calling it a plane. Scotty, it's a helicopter, man. Helicopter. Look at the propellers on the sucker. Okay, I'm not a vehicle guy, as you know. Build on this was actually pretty okay. Look at the colors on this thing, though. This is probably using the most, yeah, of the, all the sets. This is using all that weird orange, yellow color. Again, not sure if you like this kind of color, but the build was actually pretty fun. It's just a color thing, you know? Again, maybe you can use your own bricks for some of them, but they do have prints on some parts here. I like the size of it. I actually think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll use the blade to knock down all the minifigs. Just run them over. First of all, it rolls really nicely. Look at that. Yeah. The props on this thing rotate nice and smooth. No issues there. But the wings that they're on, they can kind of rotate. You know, not supposed to be like that. Then the blades can't really move. I don't know if it's like a design thing or if it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. Airplane pros out there, they have something that works like that. Or maybe the blades go up like this. Check this out. We'll go like that. Yeah. Now we can spin them like that. Or this way. Just to show you guys here on the tip that it's kind of loose there. I'm just being held by two studs into this plate. And it's the same old question as whether or not these bricks are good or not. I personally think it's a design thing. Okay, we'll start in front here. What I like about it is prints, no stickers. Along the top, it says adventure. It has like a camping site looking thing there with the number 15 on it. I like the print. I just wonder where they got that photo from. Shutterstock? I'm not sure. The front is actually pretty plain, but what I like about it is this can open up right here. And we got the cockpit inside and it's really plain. No prints on the dashboard. You got two joysticks, a single chair, and the sides here are just open like that. My finger right there. Open hole again. I kind of wish they could have made like a sliding door or something there that can open up and close. Your minifigure can go right here and they can jump through and go like that. Yeah. All right, so inside there, there's nothing. Just a bunch of studs and some dog hair and two doors. The doors do open up to open and close. What's inside? Is there anything inside? No, it's empty inside. But boy, is that hard to get in there. We'll close those up. I like the engine on the top. I think that's pretty cool. The wheels underneath this thing are pretty basic right there, but it holds up pretty sturdy so far. And I like the design here along the top on the sides. You kind of build it and it goes in and it slots in. And the print along the top here on both sides says R. Okay, not quite sure what that's trying to say. R, let's go fly. Okay, so this piece back here along the top on the manual, I was like, oh, they really screwed something up there, man. That wasn't right. But actually, when you slot it together, it fits in just fine. So it's just something that you have to wait till you get to the next page. And then you'll be like, oh, okay. They actually had it planned out. Then we got the tail here at the end and the flaps do move up and down. So you could, I guess, kind of collapse the whole thing if you wanted to. But it's kind of scary because it's only on one single clip. They're not using the second clip here. Could have been a little bit more secure, but anyway, Hadn't fallen off on me, which is good. And then you got the little antennae, antenna up here. Now there's not too much going on on both sides. They kind of mirror each other. There's not much of a design to it, but there's a back hatch here that can open up. Look at that. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you go inside. And can a minifigure fit inside? Yeah, I don't think so, man. Or it had to go sideways in there. Or maybe that's just for cargo stuff. It doesn't come off on the top. I mean, you could try to pull it off, See what happens if I try. Will the whole thing fall apart? Probably. Can you come off? Oh, oh, I just kind of tore the whole thing off. Yeah, it's built in there, man. You're not gonna be able to get in there. 
Okay, so the top doesn't come off, but at least the side where the hole is, you can kind of put one figure in, and it is easy to open up the cockpit to put one inside as a pilot. All right, so that's it for the plane, and of course it comes with a little side extra piece that represents the Force Adventure, a little bit of a jungly piece right here. And I actually really like it. Do I like it more than plain? Almost, almost makes up for it. You might just like this, I don't know. Let's take a look at it, right? Despite this being really, really small, they have a lot of things going on, which I really enjoyed. And I like these little, they almost look like trees here. At the scaling, I can't really figure out because the tree's massive, the spider's are really big, but then the trees down below here are really small. But it looks really cool, I like it. I like the mushrooms there. I do like the spider that's clinged on to the tree, and the tree has this kind of transparent looking I guess those are like seaweed pieces or underwater scenes hanging down from the leaves. The green beam of lights. And these two things here, I'm not quite sure what they are. Anyone want to comment and guess what those are? Skewers? Totem poles? I really have no idea. And then we come to the side here. I love this piece. This piece is actually pretty cool. It's fun to put together. It is on a rotating part here. It really can't rotate. I think it would have been fine just sticking it into place. You can kind of stretch these green vines out so you make it look very open and ready to attack this plant will eat whatever comes its way it'll go raw chomp down on you yeah now behind this tree there's this really pretty looking flower and it has a little pink diamond on the inside maybe that's the whole story of this thing that these guys are on an adventure to find a secret plant to bring back life somehow i don't know but it looks really cool hanging there. And you know, for the size, I really like it. And there's a lot of stuff going on just for this small little piece. It's almost worth it to get this. And this would be the bonus for the set. There they are together. And of course, as you can see, our fallen heroes. We're gonna take a look at the minifigures. There are four minifigures and they're repeating again. So just to go through these really quickly, you got the geographer, you know, make sure you watch the other videos again so you can see them, see me talk about them clearly. Print looks fine on her and she is holding a compass. And there you go. I'm just gonna spin her around for you guys so you can see it for yourself, what she looks like. And then we got the scientist. Same scientist, but you know what? He has a backpack this time. I think the other one didn't have a backpack before. Same face, same outfit, and he's got a magnifying glass as well. And this is your knockoff Indiana Jones, is it? Anyway, there's the scientist. And then we got Explorer again. Same deal, same outfit, same print. I'm just gonna spin him like really super fast then spin him like really, really slow. And then we come to the last one, which is the photographer with that blue, I just really don't like that blue hair. You know what, I'm just gonna, for this video, I'm gonna take her hair off. I'm gonna put the girl's hair on her like this. Oh, she looks way better already. That looks so much better. You know, you might just wanna switch some hair pieces around so that they look good. Don't use this blue cap thing. It's like a baby's cap. It's so weird, it does not match this theme. So there you are, there's the minifigures, as I mentioned, they will repeat in the other sets, and maybe there might be more surprises later, but that's it, man. That's this one. Now, drop test, must I? Man, again, it terrifies me every time. And then I have to figure out which pieces have fallen off when I do the close-up shots after this. This one should survive just fine, I hope. I hope the spider doesn't fall off. Itchy bitchy spider, you are ready for this? Please fall flat on the plate. We're gonna count down. Five, four, Three, two, one. 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 That's to be expected. The plant came off here and the tree kind of came off, but not too bad. Held up pretty good. All right, dear, what do you think? I want you to drop that helicopter because you keep calling it a plane. I can't wait. The jet is crash landing in five, four, three, two, one. One. One, 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 one. Well, the wings came off. Now I gotta go find it. So there you guys go. As you can see, it's a smaller set, but it is getting slightly bigger. And is there gonna be more foresty stuff? Of course there is, right? Right, dear? I'm so sick of seeing vehicles. All right, dear, why don't you tell us the next set? I'm gonna set that up while he says what the set is. Here we go. Forest Adventure, Exploration of Stone, XP15004, 770 pieces! Thank you dear for that, and as you can see, we're getting more into the forest theme now. Finally, the sets are getting bigger, it still has one more vehicle, and it's not bad. 
Let's take a look at that first. We got a speedboat here. Yeah, because of course you need a speedboat to traverse through the rivers and the, the lakes and whatever oceans to get to this thing right here. All right, let's take a look at this speedboat looking thing. Solid, super solid, man. For sure this thing is not gonna fall apart, it's like a rock. Again, you have a print there on the front and it says Adventure. Yeah, it's the same print as the one on the chit that we saw earlier. And it is using that color, it's that color thing again, man. While it is a very simple build, at least they have some stuff here. You got lights on the side, you got the windshield there and it's all open up here. But there's no, again, there's no prints on the dashboard. You do have a steering wheel there and one seat. So one minifigure can fit nicely on the inside. You can maybe squeeze one more on the back there standing or put some accessories back there. And it comes with two oars in case your boat breaks down. You can row, I guess. And I like how they designed the engine here in the back. It's very simple, but you know exactly how it's supposed to work. It goes up if you stop and it goes down if you want to go. They do have a railing here with two flags. It actually kind of makes the boat look like it's going in motion because the flags kind of have that wave to it. So that's kind of neat that they put that on there. Other than that, really, really good build. And now we come to this island. The boat will go and stop right here. There's a lot of little things going on in this island. I really, really like it. And let's just walk you right through it. So we'll start here on the left because the boat stops when you come up these steps right here. It was actually really fun to build this. I didn't have any issues with it, except for the fact that I think Zingbao kind of rushed their sets a little bit, especially when they're new. You might find a missing piece on yours. And thank goodness I got the entire forest theme here. So when I had a missing piece, I was able to jump to another set or find a spare part. And, I, and then I found it. Or sometimes they'll be in the other bag. So that will happen to you. Like always, if you buy from us, sprickmeupscotty.com, you know I can kind of find you those pieces sometimes. It does take a little bit of time. But we can source them, which try our best to anyway. So anyway, continuing. Go up these steps right here. And you got printed signs up there. Home and no. Yeah, you don't want to go to no, but you want to try to find your home. These guys, maybe they're trying to find their way home. I do like the tree and I like the plants there that are growing on the side of the rock. It's actually pretty cool. And I like the design of the staircase itself. And on the back side, there's nothing on the back here, but you can certainly make your own little adventure and store stuff in there, more treasures or whatever you want. And speaking of treasures, one of the coolest things about the set, there's two cool things actually. The first one is the waterfall. The waterfall still looks really good as is right here, but it's also a little bit of a disappointment because there's more parts that are supposed to be added on to this holes there that you see. And I'm gonna pull out for you right now, my spare parts, my spare baggie. They actually have more transparent parts. You know, I'm a sucker for the transparent pieces. You know, I love this stuff. Now, these pieces, are supposed to go into the little holes here. It acts like steps, I guess, for the figures to walk up, but they fall out like really easy like that. They don't even hold in place. One or two might hold in place, but they'll pop out after a while. So uh, I was really disappointed I had to take those off. It's supposed to look like a ladder. I'll show you guys a picture on the manual. You can see for yourself what it looks like. Maybe the next batch they'll fix it. I don't know, think about if you've seen this for some odd reason, you gotta fix that man. But what's really cool is, look, it can move. I do like the piece, by the way, the individual pieces, like tracks, right? But they're just transparent blue. There's a treasure chest on the inside of that. That is really neat. I can actually just pull it out from the back. We can open it to see what's inside. <gasps> what is inside this treasure chest? You know what? You're just gonna have to buy it and find out yourself. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna keep that a secret. Maybe I'll reveal it later in the next video. Again, you know I'm a sucker for water tiles. You got them running along the bottom here. And funny enough, underneath the staircase, there is some too. You can actually kind of see it. You got more plants that are growing along the wall here on the side of the waterfall and a small tree on the top. And all the trees have apples on them. I'm liking this the more I look at it, even though it's not super big. It's quite a nice size. You know, this actually might go well with an Ninjago set or, you know, just continue to be like Indiana Jones. So what makes this side special over here? which is really cool. Well, first of all, you got tons of trees here and plants. So I do like how they really made it like overly abundant. So it makes it look very, very forest-like. And you got these palm tree looking things, which we're gonna see a lot more of soon. These ones stick on the side. I think in the manual it sticks more straight up, but it kept bumping into this tree. You got some plants down here with some flowers, but this is what makes it really, really cool. There's a little switch here. You pull the switch up like that and look. 
secret altar. I thought that was actually really neat. I really enjoyed building that. I put it together going, this is so cool. This actually looks like a Tomb Raider thing going on. I like the design of that. I don't know what it's trying to be or trying to do, and it looks like more things can actually be added onto it. So it does look a little bit plain, but I kind of like that look. It really reminds me of all those video games, Uncharted and all that kind of stuff. So I thought that was actually a really nice addition. So I love the fact that it has a rotating piece here, and you can just grab the tree to make it easier for you if you want to drop it down. Just make sure the trees don't hit each other or else it's gonna get stuck. A lot of little things that you can actually add on and do to this thing, which I won't do, but I'll let you guys do it. You do have to be careful when you try to lift this up. It's on separate plates. So if you try to lift it on one side, it might rip apart in the middle. Of course, we had some minifigures that come with this. The same minifigures. Oh, okay. We're gonna do the same thing again. Girl, cowboy hat, compass, geographer. There she is again. Scientist with his backpack and his magnifying glass looking terrified. He actually really kind of goes well with this theme because now he's gonna be like terrified when that thing goes down. He's got the perfect facial expression for it. But there he is again, trying to find the treasure. Of course you need the photographer to snap photos while you're on an adventure. Or else who can document this whole thing? So there you are. Just change your hair piece, please. And then we got Explore here. I, he's probably like the guy, the guy that's gonna take everyone around and be like, danger, don't go in there. You're not supposed to go there. Get out of there. Let's go. I will sacrifice my life for you. I will get shot while you run. All right, you guys, it's dimension time. So both sets are here. We'll start with the plane first. Helicopter, helicopter. If I put it kind of right in the middle of the base plate there, it's kind of 32 studs by width and length. Like it actually fits on an entire base plate. It kind of sticks out with the props though. So you have to be careful with the propeller blades here. Or you can take the wing out like this and take the prop out and modify it here. Then you don't need the wings on there. Yeah, that looked kind of wrong. Let's check the height. Break out your one by four bricks and we're gonna stack it right here. I'm gonna put it on the plate. It's almost right there. It's just slightly higher than that. If you can rotate this here, you guys can get an idea. That is 10 bricks in height. Okay, so for the plant here, Put it in the center for you guys so you can visually see that. It's around 15 studs in length and the width of it. It's kind of around between eight to nine studs, depending on how you look at it. But there you go. Let's check the height. All right, for the height, I'm gonna put this right here. It's kind of touching there. You can barely get it in there. That is around 16 bricks in height. Yeah. All right, here's the boat from front to back. It is around 19 studs. It's kind of around there. You know, the boat is tiny, man. And then from side to side, it is kind of like mm, seven studs, I'd guess. Now let's check the height. My one by four bricks. Okay, put the bricks here. Line it with the flag so you guys can kind of see. Yeah, it's right there. Look, it fits nice and snug. That is seven bricks in height. Same deal here. Put it on the base plate so you guys can see if it fits on there fine. And that is 26 studs in length. It's probably a little bit more if you want to include the little tree there on the right sticking out. It will be more. You know, it can probably fit the entire thing if I slide it here. Yeah, it'll just barely fit there. You can adjust the leaves so it'll fit on a 32 by 32 base plate. For the width, it's about 14 studs, more or less. Now let's check the height. I'm gonna push the tree a little bit so I can put the one by four bricks there if I put it right here. Oh, look at that. Oh, just kind of barely right there. That is around 16 bricks in height. You know, you can probably again, adjust the leaves a little bit if you wanna make it slightly higher or slightly lower. It's entirely up to you. So there you guys go, your dimensions. Drop test for the boat here. Oh, the flag came off, but you know, the boat is sturdy, man. Sturdy, man. They even did a flip right there. That was kind of cool. This land, yeah, I think like trees and stuff might pop off. I don't want to drop it like too high, but just so you know, if I go like this, That's what's going to happen. The small stuff that came off. Otherwise, it's a pretty sturdy build. I forgot how the tree goes on. Which way does the tree go? I'll fix it all up in the close-ups. So there you guys go. Zimbabwe Forest Adventures, round two. You ready for round three? I'll be back. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And this is available on BreakMeUpScotty.com. They all are. Yeah? See if you like it or not. If you can add this to your imagination playroom say set city i have no idea until next time dear 
You do it. No, uh, don't break us up. We gotta move on to the next video, Scotty. Look at you. But okay, it's an outdoor adventure. Your minifigures will be flying like this and jumping out like that. Yeah, if I can get them out, fall out. First of all, guys, before we start this adventure, you have to look appropriate for the jungle. You, sir, are not. You there, you're an animal, you look perfectly fine. So, over there, in that little jungle, there's an outfit for you. You have to go get it by yourself. Good luck. What? I have to get out of this outfit? This is Star Wars, man. Don't matter, boy. We're in the jungles now. Oh, I'm so happy I don't have to change to enter anything. Come on, Scotty, hurry up. Go in there, get your new clothes. Okay, I see our clothing, but it's behind that freaking spider. And there's a huge plant over there blocking the other way. We ought to figure out how to get this thing? Well, you wanted an adventure, right? Dude, look at that thing. The thing's the size of me, man. We don't have a flamethrower. I really don't like spiders. Good luck. I hope you can get that outfit. Um, um, I'll be over there. You take your time now. Oh, man. Uh, Mr. Spider, uh, I kind of need to get to the outfit, man. Um, you want me to sing your song? How about, it's the bitsy spider. Ah, oh, help me. Dear, the thing jumped on me. This thing is freaking huge. Wow, what a beautiful tree. I wonder if it has some berries on there. I'm getting hungry again. Ah, oh, Scotty. The plant got me! Where are you? Help me, Scotty! 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 There, I can't move! Why are we doing this for? Help! Help! Help, Help us! Hiya! I got the spider! Bad spider! Bad spider! There! Now, how come I always have to save you? What about me? Help me! Now, I got to go help your friend. Oh, thanks, man. I'm just gonna relax for a bit. Hang on, Mr. Idea. I am coming to save you. Ugh. 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 Now listen to me closely. Use your horns and bash the plant. If you say so. <laughs> we did it. Goody! We're alive! Now go get that outfit on. And let's get out of here. And now you can get your outfit and change so the adventure will continue. All right, let me go get that thing. Well, hey, hey, I like your outfit. It's the same as mine. Now we can explore the jungle. Get it? Because my name is Explore. Yeah, but my arm looks a little bit more tan. But that's okay. And my pants are blue. Hey, maybe our outfits are slightly different. Never mind that. Come, I have a boat. We must go find the treasure. Oh! I feel so good getting out of there. Where are we going now? We will get the treasure and find our way home. Ooh, I think I see an island over there. Is that it? Yes. Now remember, be safe. Stay out of danger. And don't look at any spiders. Ah, here we are. There is a little bit of a challenge here. We must first go up the staircase and climb down the waterfall. I'm getting too tired walking up the stairs. Come on, dear. You can do it. You can get up this mountain. Hey, look at the sign up here. No, our home. Remember that song? I'm coming home to the place where I belong. What are you guys doing? There's no time for singing. You must follow me and go down this waterfall. Okay, now you must jump in the water because there is no steps on the waterfall anymore and you can't climb it. You'll just have to jump. Oh man, it's kind of hard from here though. Scotty, stop being a chicken and just do it. It's part of the adventure. All right, all right, all right. Here I come. Close enough. Very good. And now behind this waterfall is the treasure we have been waiting for. Look inside. Oh, nice. Deer, jump in, man. Where are you? Deer? There's no way I was going to jump. I just walked around the set. It's your adventure. Not mine. Now go get that treasure. All right, I got it. Now what? Ah, uh, Scotty, that doesn't sound good. Dear, you must jump out right now. That thing is going to move. Oh man, here it comes. 
Good enough. Oh, man, what the heck is that? It's okay. I will protect you. Who disturbs me? That treasure belongs here. And not anymore, it doesn't. Scotty and dear, quick, run. The spiders are coming. Get them. Quickly, my friends. The spiders are right here. Quick, go up. Scotty, which way do we go? Uh, follow the no sign. I don't know why, but just follow it. Oh, man, we're trapped up here. The spider's right behind us. What do we do? There is only one thing we can do. We have to jump. Are you serious? Trust me. This is an adventure. Now let's go. Oh, man, what are we going to do this? Help me. Help! Dear, I got you, man. It's okay. We're saved. Thank goodness. And that, my friends, is how do you do an adventure. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we're going to be back with the third adventure. The final one. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I don't know how long I can hold Deer for on here. Deer, you're going to have to hang out there until we get to the next location. Oh, boy. This is going to be... Really, really long. I'm just happy to be away from those freaking spiders. Yeah.